Hi everyone, it's me again, Yuli, your HIPAA Certified Medical Virtual Assistant, Social Media Marketing Specialist. And today we are here in eClinical Works as promised on our part 1 video. If you have not yet watched the part 1 of our tutorial or training, free training, I suggest you guys watch that first before watching this one because uh, we have sample call there and what happened in that sample call, we will do it on eClinical Works. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click that notification bell para kapag may bagong video ako, ikaw yung unang makakakita. In part one video, I promised you guys I'll teach you how to make a encounter or telephone encounter on eClinicals. So here, I hope you can see my screen. I think you can see my screen. There's two ways on how you can do or how to find the telephone encounter on a clinical. First is see these three lines here. You click that, click the menu, and you will click the patient. And here you can see that new telephone encounter. You notice that the star here was highlighted. Um, if you highlight the star here, it means na mapupunta siya sa favorites. So, hindi ka na, you know, makakasave ka na ng time. Hindi ka na pupunta dito, pupunta sa patient para, para click si new telephone encounter. Kapag may telephone encounter ka, uh, you'll just have to go directly to the favorite here at the upper part of the menu. The other option is uh, go directly to the patient um, chart. So, I've said earlier or, or on the part 1 of our video, eh, wala kayong makikitang uh, PHI here. I'm using myself as a test patient. You will not see any of the uh, patient's uh, PHI kasi we are following HIPAA and we don't want to break any HIPAA rule. Para, para makita or para ma-pull up natin yung test patient, you will do a patient lookup. And in doing patient look up, makikita mo tong the upper part of our uh, screen. Katabi ng e clinical works E11, uh, 11E, may makikita kang ano dito, parang tao tapos may magnifying glass. Then may drop down siya. So you can see that here, my patient look up. And the other option as well is pupunta ka din dito, menu, then patient, and here, look up. So, I've already added this, this as well to my favorites. We'll need to pull up the test patient. So, we'll click the patient lookup. And then, here. So, uh, ito yung itsura niya kapag nag-pull up ka ng patient's um, chart. May um, makikita ka ditong primary search, secondary search, status, facility. And uh, usually, ginagamit ko yung secondary search especially kapag hindi ko makita yung ano um chart ni patient doing the primary search for now i'll use the primary search kasi i think hindi ko nilagyan ng date of birth i think nilagyan ko uh, let's let's use the secondary search na magpo-pull up siya ano ba yan all right here all right yeah na pull up natin siya ito yung um test patient Datin. Click mo lang yan. And ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Yeah, chart ni patient or the patient hub. Tawag namin dito, patient hub. So, sa patient hub, may makikita ka sa um, left side na loves, uh, DI, procedure, referral, allergies, encounters, CDSS, RX, and notes. Or yeah, telephone encounter. Dito mo siya makikita. Sa new telephone encounter. So, uh, in making a telephone encounter, so what I'm showing you right now is directly to the patient hub. So, yeah, patient look up and then to the patient hub, I click mo siya here, new telephone encounter. Now, if gagawa ka ng directly to your favorites, uh, here, click mo si telephone encounter. And then from telephone encounter, wait nating magload. Right here, account. Eh, this is my account in e clinicals. Automatic siyang mag populate here na ako yung naga answer ng call. At sa patient naman, is search mo sa patient here. A date of birth. May makikita tayo here. Yeah. 
kapag ginamit mo dito yung dito bird, wala kang makikita. But anyway, let's do the primary search, which is using the last name. And, you know, here. Ito na yung pangalan ko. Yeah. Hanapin mo lang siya from there. And, uh, I'm not sure if saan kayo mas makakasave ng time. But, as for me, sa so patient look up, then, happy ko sa patient there, and then, the patient hub, doon ako mag-make ng telephone encounter. Here, the color, bakit may color pa here if directly naman uh, sa patient chart yung uh, magagawin nating tel uh, telephone encounter. For example, may tatawag, but it's not the patient who's calling, but the patient's mom, or the patient's father, especially kapag yung patient natin is, you know, underage pa, or since PCP, something like that. So, lalagay mo dyan. So, since best patient natin, ito, eh, lagi na lang natin dito. Patient yung nag, ano, kasi si patient naman yung tumawag sa atin. So, patient here, and the reason why the patient called. And, you can see all of the reason that you can click here. So, since the patient uh, gusto niya malaman is the status of his referral or her referral eh, needs referral mm, wala status dito so, ano natin siya kapitan natin si needs referral and if it's a high priority, for example um, yung referral ni patient is bad siya or expedited yeah, yung dito high priority then here sa center part is the date of time yeah date and time assigned to for example uh, marami kayo sa ano sa office ni client and um, there's a specific person who handles referral so um, ano lang hanapin mo ang pangalan niya dito and then eh ano mo siya eh i-add mo siya here with the provider um, in our office we have two providers and uh, hanapin nyo lang din here under to si patient. The facility naman, eh, for example, yung office nyo, madami kayong um, locations. Just make sure na everything, that patient is under that the same doctor or what location siya bumibisita. Para maka, ano tayo, makagawa tayo ng telephone encounter, dapat na-fill out nyo siya lahat here. So, in this part, i-blur ko yung mga uh, dapat i-blur. Right. So, here. Click ko lang anong facility. Right. And, uh, the status is use open kasi ako yung nagsisend. And if matanggap ito ni assigned person, eh, ikiklik niya itong addressed. And addressed and docs reviewed if may na-attach kayong file here. Alright, si ano na dito, si assigned person na yung uh, maglalagay kung ano yung status na um, ginawa nating telephone encounter. Alright. So, since I'm the one who's making the telephone encounter to the assigned person, eh, ikiklik natin yung open. Alright, here, si patient, gusto niya malaman kung ano yung status na kanya referral. So, here, lalagyan natin, the patient wants to know the status of her referral. And... If okay na siya, um, she also wants to know if um, na-send din yung uh, updated labs niya or recent labs niya. So, ilalagay din natin yan sa ating message. lang. <laughs> yeah, simple lang siya. Uh, tapos, for example, um, hindi referral, yung natanggap nyo. If it's a medication, click ito medication. Right here. Hindi tayo tinaglagyan ng oras. Okay, here. Uh, Alright. Hindi nagpapulate pa siya. May na ba? Ano po? Alright, here. So, you can see uh, the RX or the prescription and uh, 
search yung current prescription and uh dito is search mo siya and if it's a love ano siya dito anong love or imaging pwede mo kang mag-add ng pwede kayo mag-add ng document here and uh, addendum log history if it's a virtual visit dito nyo siya magagawa Alright, since here is just a referral, so it's just a simple message for the assigned person. And uh, once it's done na, eh, isesend mo siya, i-okay mo siya. It's ako yung account ko yung nilagay ko as assigned person. Papapunta siya sa ating here. Telephone Encounter or Jellybean. So if you hover over the ano, kanina one lang, ngayon nagiging two na kasi may sinenta yung bagong telephone encounter. So here, so if you hover over the T, you can see here that we have two telephone encounter. If you will click that, uh, makikita mo to dito. So makikita mo uh, which one is the recent one. Click that. So for now, ako yung assigned person. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung gagawin kapag kayo yung assigned person sa ano telephone encounter. Ikaw yung assigned person, dito kayo maglalagay ng um, status or notes nyo. So, as sa action taken part na uh, blank, blank space. Uh, lagay na lang natin sa scenario na na-approve na, na yung referral and isesend natin yung, hindi natin na-send yung, <laughs> example lang ha, hindi natin na-send yung ano, recent love and we will send the recent loves. Alright, uh, lagay natin dito the the status of the referral is approved. We'll send the recent loves right away. <laughs> Since ako yung assigned person, eh, lagyan natin dito na address, address and close, and if it's address docs, address review and close, and if address and close lang, kung walang attached document, address and close lang. Ayan. Sir, paano mo malaman if na-address and close na siya or na-address yung kinawa mong telephone encounter? So, malalaman mo siya uh, not here, let me refresh my screen para malaman nyo. Kasi, na-address natin siya, hindi mo na siya makikita dito. Yan. Wala na siya dito. So, makikita mo siya directly sa chart ni patient. So, E, ilo-look up natin siya. Uh, by the way, what's good thing about the patient lookup, eh, makikita mo yung mga recent chart na inopen mo. Since recent natin inopen si test patient, Makikita mo siya here. So, click mo siya. And then, after that, click natin yung progress note. Alright. And here. Ito yung, since ito yung pinaka-recent na progress note sa chart ni test patient, makikita mo siya here. Na... Um, the status of reference is approved and nasent na yung labs ni ano, ni patient guys, yun lang, uh, ganun lang kasimple on, on how to make a telephone encounter, hope hindi, ra, hindi, uh, hindi ako masyadong mabilis or naintindihan nyo yung step by step but um, yeah, if you want to know more on how to do other things here on eClinicals, just leave a comment below. And if you want to know more on how to become a virtual assistant, um, please visit our description box kasi nandun po yung lahat ng um, videos ko on how to be a medical virtual assistant. I made it, I made it into a playlist. So, uh, enjoy learning. So that's it guys and yeah, see you on my next video. Bye sweet things. Take care. Please do not forget to follow my other social media pages and for you to get a chance to be featured on my next video, please leave a comment below for your questions and suggestions. Thank you so much for watching my videos and see you guys on my next video. Bye sweetlings. Take care.